Okay, that appears to have broken the game. So, new fun fact. You can break a game doing that. Welcome back. Lemon here, yet again, with another GTA Online uh, cheat. So it's just a short one here, hopefully not going to take too long. Just a little, little quick video um, to throw out there. So what we're going to be looking at today is how we're going to um, cheat to get our research done in our bunker. So a lot of you probably already have a lot of the bunker research done, but I personally haven't spent all that much time doing it. I just don't have the time to be interested in it. So uh, I've been looking for ways to do it. And actually, I found a really simple way of doing it. So first thing you're going to need to do is you need to open up your task manager. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the thingy there, right click on the task bar at the bottom, open up the task manager, we're going to go to performance, we're going to go to open resource monitor down here, we're going to close that up, and then we've got this here, we're going to go over to the network tab, which is here, and then we're going to suspend the process. The reason we're going to do this is because if we try and do this whilst we're in a session with anyone else, it's going to crash the game, unless we're the host. Because um, what we're going to do is we're going to be messing with the passage of time. So we're going to suspend the process. We should be able to suspend the process for about 10 seconds, and that should, in theory, kick everyone out of the game. So let's give that a go. So we're going to suspend the process, wait for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom. Right. Okay. Everyone's left. You see that? So if we quickly go into online, go to players. I'm now in a session on my own. Sweet. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down here, um, and you'll see I've got an already partially completed research. So there's two ways you can do this. There's the more expensive way if you've got the money. You can fast track the research, um, and then from here, what I'm going to be doing is waiting. So now you'll see um, when I sum a cup. It doesn't immediately allow me to fast track the next research. I have to wait for um, wait for this to like make a couple of ticks. I have to stand around here for like ten minutes. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Cheat Engine. So I've got Cheat Engine here. Going to target Grand Theft Auto Five, and then we're just going to stick stick the speed hack on. Let's stick it to a hundred times. We're just going to wander around the room at a hundred times speed. Oh, hello, phone's ringing. Please stop ringing. Please stop that. Please stop that. That's really unhelpful. <laughs> Okay, that's not gone quite to plan. Uh, let's turn that back to one again. Please, please. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that appears to have broken the game. So, new fun fact. You can break the game doing that. Uh... Okay, then. That didn't go quite to plan. I was just about to restart the game, and then it fixed itself. So yeah, whilst I was using the speed hack, something strange happened. I got a phone call, and then you couldn't pick up and cancel the phone call. Um, and what I found, actually, is that it wouldn't go off my screen, even when I set the time back to normal. And then as soon as I hit Alt F4, which gave me the, the, the closing game screen, uh, then the call stopped, and it went back to normal. So maybe try that if you're having a problem with it. Um, also, just to clarify, uh, what I'm using is just the speed hack built into Cheat Engine. So literally, all you do is you go into Cheat Engine, Hit enable speed hack, and then set the speed to what you want. Press apply, and that's it. Um, I wouldn't suggest going massively, massively high with the number on the speed hack because you can end up uh, like basically not being able to keep up with all the changes that are happening because the game's just running too fast for you to keep up with. But yeah, good luck. Okay, right. Let's try that again. So, oh fuck! You, they need to add a feature that allows you to just. Maybe they have a feature, but can you just automatically reject all calls? Can I just make my phone stop ever ringing? Silent. But still, I want it to... I just... I don't want my phone to ever ring. Can I just switch... Anyway. <sighs> okay, so let's have a go at that again. So, I'm going to sit down. Um, now, if I've got any research... I'll click to enter, we're going to research, I'm going to press fast track, costs a bunch of money. If you've got the money, you can do it this way. If you haven't, then we can do the long route. So now you see, can't fast track research, you have no active research projects. So what I need to do is stand up. Um, I actually, to be fair, you don't need to stand up for this. You can, you can probably do it sitting down, but I like to do it standing up. So I'm going to set my speed to 100 times, 
hit apply, start wandering around and wait for my research to tick. So you see my research has ticked up to one green bar now. So now if I just switch this back to one again, go in. So the reason I'm walking around the room is because if you just stand still for ages and ages, then, well, I say ages and ages, you're at 100 times speed. If you span, stand still for too long, you get kicked for being AFK. So I've got two ticks of research, so I should be able to just go ahead and fast track the research again. Boom. So you can literally just sit here. If you've got the money, just go through them all, just one by one, research everything. If you haven't got the money, on the other hand, so you could just keep doing that over and over and over again. If you haven't got the money, the other option is to do it this way. So we set it to 100 times speed, and we're just going to wander around, and we're just going to wait for the research to tick up. Uh, I haven't bothered doing this all the way through yet because it's kind of a lot of hassle. Um, but as long as you keep walking around, you should be totally fine. Sometimes you get a little error that pops up about a uh, not being able to save or something like that because you're out of sync with the servers. If that's the case, just turn the speed multiplier down by a bit. But as you can see, my research is rapidly going up. So I could just wander around like this waiting for the research to happen if I wanted to. But I don't really want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that back to uh, 1. And I'm going to go and sit down and just fast track the research. If you are struggling for money, uh, have a look at some of the other videos on my channel because I've got lots of other videos that give you plenty of ways to get loads and loads of money. So it's really easy to do. Um, so it should be nice and straightforward. But yeah, hope this is helpful. Hope, hope you enjoy it. Um, if you don't, that's a shame. Lemon out. Physics.